In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your new external monitor that you just got. So I'm just going to pop this out of the box so you can see all the pieces. And after I break it, um, and you can see what you're going to be dealing with. So you're going to have a stand and a few other things here with a couple of quick directions. There's not much to it, honestly. It's next in place. It does come with an HDMI cable. So you will need, um, with the Chromebook, an HDMI to USB-C dongle. One was given out to you when you picked up your Chromebook for your classroom. We also have a few extras if you need to, but here's a nice new 24-inch uh, external screen that would be perfect for what you need. Um, on the bottom, you can see that it does have an HDMI port. It also has a VGA in, uh, in case you need that. We're gonna be looking to use the uh, HDMI. It also has external sound if you need to. So you wanna take out all the plugs. Uh, make sure you have those ready to go. Uh, you need the power one, obviously, to plug into a wall. So as you're setting up your new space at home, you may want to make sure that you have a couple of outlets available. Obviously, one for the Chromebook and one for the monitor. Now it's going to take two rather than just the one. This is not a docking station. It's a separate monitor. Um, so you can actually run what they call extended screen. You'll be able to see your screen on your Chromebook as well as the screen um, on the on the other side with the external monitor. This would be perfect for when you do a Google Meet so you can monitor um, the attendees on one side of the screen, you know, um, with the 20 plus kids that may be in your class. And on your Chromebook screen, you can look at the presentation that you're providing or doing. So we have the HDMI plug that just wants to go in. We also have the power plug, pretty self-explanatory, goes into where the power is. And then obviously the other side goes into the power outlet in the wall or power strip. Um, and then you should be pretty good. The audio in is um, not necessary with HDMI. That is uh, a bigger thing. So you can skip this green audio in power cord if you wish, because you're most likely going to be using HDMI uh, with your Chromebook. So there is uh, two pieces to the stand, both of which just snap into place. No tools required, no screwdrivers. Um, there's a plastic arm that just kind of fits in nicely and tight. Um, and then on the opposite end, there is just a finger tightening screw. So that'll go in, uh, just match it up with the correct uh, shape of the, it's almost like a um, trapezoid with some curved edges here. Once that's in, we'll try that again. Say once that's in, there we go. You can finger tighten it. Uh, you can use a screwdriver if you wish, but it's not gonna go anywhere. It should be good. So that is sort of how your screen's gonna look. With a stand on it, pretty quick, simple setup. And now we're going to make sure, and it does tilt, so you can have it tilted up or down. Um, and then we're just going to make sure that we plug this into the Chromebook. So I'm going to plug in the outlet to power. Um, and I'm also going to take my HDMI and using the dongle that was provided, uh, we will plug that into the computer. The dongle that you should have received with this package or Maybe when you first picked up your Chromebook, you have it. Um, it's this gray one that has a HDMI uh, female port on one side and the USB-C port on the other. So obviously from the monitor, just HDMI. And then on either the left or right side, I'm gonna go right side because mine's plugged in on the left on my computer, then we should be all set. All right, so now that we have everything plugged in, let's take a look at what it looks like in Google Meet. But before we do, there is a power button on the side of the monitor on the far right there. As soon as you boot that up, a blue light should appear on the right and you should see the Acer logo. So as you can see now, I've plugged into my external monitor. I have one screen up on my right, which is my Chromebook, and on the left I have just the background. This is called extended screen. So in something like this, I can take out my presentation out of a tab. And if I move it off the screen to my right on my Chromebook, see that again, it comes onto the screen on the left. This is extended view. So for instance, if I were to present right now, um, you can see that on my extended laptop, I'm able to see my entire presentation that I intend to walk through. But at the same token, I'm able to flip over uh, on the opposite side. When I come back to this monitor, it's a little tricky at first, but you can go back and check email or the Google Meet or whatever else you may be doing. That's extended view. So if you want to mirror your display, in other words, what you see on this screen, you want on the external monitor, Similar to if you were showing something in class, maybe on a TV or projector, you want to go down to the bottom right-hand corner, select the gearbox for settings on your Chromebook, 
now that you're plugged in, and go over to device, then displays, and this is where you can either mirror, which when I have it checked mirror, you'll see it blip. What I see on my Chromebook screen is the exact same thing that I see on my external monitor. However, since I do have an external monitor, I actually prefer the extended view. That way I can have multiple windows up and look at different things. So again, I will uncheck that mirror built-in display. And so now I'm back to having my presentation up on my left that I'm going to be walking the students through and something else that I'm working on on the right. That's how you set up your external monitor and how you use it both in extended view and in mirror display.